Hey, how's it going? It's Craig. I'm out in the garage today and today we're looking at the Game Boy camera and a handy little device I picked up to get your images off the camera onto your laptop. Let's give it a go. Okay, so let's take a look. We've got my backlit DMG Play It Loud Game Boy here, and I've been plugged in the Game Boy camera. If you don't know much about these, the Game Boy camera is an accessory you can get for your Game Boy. Basically, just plugs into the cartridge slot at the back, turns your Game Boy into the original selfie machine. So you've got the camera at the top, swivels around to take pictures in front as well. Everything's built in, all the software on here. It's got some selfies, bits and pieces and filters and things like that. It's a really fun bit of kit that came out way back when the Game Boys were fairly new. I love the camera, the style of the photos and everything you get out of it are just really great and retro feeling. But the biggest thing with that is you can either keep up to 30 photos on the camera itself or you can transfer them across to a Game Boy printer which originally came out with this. The Game Boy printer is a, a little um, additional accessory, I haven't got one of them yet, but I do plan to get one in the future. Or, you can get one of these. Um, so this is a cool little device that my mate Brain introduced me to, and it's from a company online called Game Boy Repro Cart. I'm going to put the Facebook link down in my description. And basically what this little device does is connect to your Game Boy via the link port on the side, into the link port on the Game Boy Wi-Fi printer, which is this is called, and then you need a, a five volt power supply at the bottom as well. So what you can do then, instead of printing off of here to a printer, you can print off of here to this little device. This device stores them on the on the memory within here, and then you can connect to this via Wi-Fi, so it's a Wi-Fi printer, and your little IP address at the bottom, and that will then give you your images that you can download and use for other uses as well. Okay, so I'm going to give this a go now, connect it all up, see what we can do with it, see what the quality of the photos are like. So you need your Game Boy connected to this, and to do that we need a link cable. So I picked this one up a while back, this is a Game Boy Color link cable, um, but it's got the adapter in here so we can go to original Game Boys as well. So we'll use that as a link cable. On the bottom of this device we need a 5 volt power supply. So we're going to use your standard Android old school connector um, powered off a 5 volt connection. So let's give that a go, see what it does, see how it works and see what the quality of the photos are like. Really excited about this. Cool. Okay, so we're going to need some photos, so let's power up the Game Boy. Let that power up and boot into this app that comes with it, or the software that comes with it. Um, it's got the Dancing Mario at the beginning, let's have a look. As you can see, probably from my intro as well. We're going to go into shoot mode. And we're going to take a selfie. So, if you haven't used the Game Boy camera before, it's got the adjustments. Hopefully you can see that without too much glare on my screen. You can adjust up and down, left and right, to adjust the contrast and the brightness of the image. So, I'm just going to take a quick selfie with this. Then you can save that to the memory card of the Game Boy camera. Okay, so that photo is taken. Let's take another one. Flip the camera around. I'm going to use this as a camera to take a picture of Mario here. That's crap. Let's do it again. Okay, so we now have a selfie and a picture of Mario on here. Okay, so now I've got a picture of Mario and a selfie on here. I'm going to try and transfer those across to the Game Boy Wi-Fi printer and see what the output is like on the laptop. Cool. Okay, so we've got our Game Boy camera running, we've got our link cable, we've got our Wi-Fi printer, and we've got our 5 volt power supply. So to get this all working, I'm guessing we just connect it all up. So Game Boy connect it on the side. That one goes in there. This one goes into here. A 5 volt power supply, let me plug that in. Okay, it's in 5 volts at the bottom of this. 
make sure I get the right way up, that way up. Okay, so. Okay, so there's no LEDs or anything to tell me that that's on. But I'm assuming that's connected now. So let's give this a go. So we'll go to into the Game Boy. I've turned the volume down because the music's a little bit annoying on here after a while. Go to the view. Go to our album. Okay, so we've got our selfie that we took earlier and our picture of Mario that we took as well. So neither of them are the best photos. I've just done it for a bit of a demo on this one. I'll take some others with the correct contrast and brightness setup. Um, but this one hopefully is a, just a bit of a, a demo on how to get these transferred. So let's transfer this selfie first of all. Um, can't remember how you get, oh there we go. So into here, you've got lots of different options on here. You can paint, you can put stamps on here, you can put frames on here, or you can put uh, comments on there as well. So let's have a look at our frame. All oh, right, okay, so there's a different frames on the edge. Okay, so I'm gonna go with frame number one, just a standard Nintendo one anyway. And then up to print, and click go. Um, A to print. Okay, so it's transferring. So it looks like it's doing something. Uh, fingers crossed now, that's coming down this cable into this Wi-Fi printer. And that's printed. Uh, okay, so I don't know what more to expect at the moment. Uh, let's take this Mario one across as well. Um, I'll try a couple of these ones which I got on the camera. Okay, so that's printed too. Okay, so I'm going to turn this off, I'm going to get my laptop out and we'll do a screen record of transferring this across and see how it works. Cool. Okay, so I've got the laptop set up now. Um, I've left the 5 volt power supply plugged into the Wi-Fi printer, but I've taken off the Game Boy because apparently you don't need that from this point onwards. Um, rather than try and record the screen with my hands getting in the way, I'm going to go to a screen record on the laptop. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is connect to the Game Boy printer Wi-Fi. So it spits out a Wi-Fi signal. So that is going to connect. Okay, so we're connected to the Game Boy printer on our Wi-Fi now. And then we enter 192.168.4.1. And that takes us through to the interface for the Game Boy printer. And then we've got basically our photos that we transferred. So let's have a look. Picture one. Well, so a, a me <laughs> that's pretty cool. So Game Boy Repro cards, I've um, put a thank you for buying message on there. So they obviously test these before they send them out, which is pretty good. Um, okay, so like that, that's pretty good. Uh, picture three, there's a Mario I've taken. And then there's my selfie that I took on camera. And the other picture of Mario. So as you can see, this one's not great, I didn't set that up properly and I just did it on camera. Um, but this one that I took a little bit earlier is a little bit of a better picture. So let's have a look what we can do on these colors as well. So, okay, so we've got a color palette. We can change the colors on things. This is pretty cool. We can have a, a two-tone setup there. Let's give that the other way around. So that one and that one. Yay, so that looks like a cool original uh, Game Boy Color now, uh, Game Boy Colors that we wanted. Um, I love that, that's pretty cool. Um, how do I save it? So, I'm guessing I can just right click, save image as. Perfect, so we're going to call that Mario Game Boy Printer. Okay, so let's have a look at this image. Okay, so let's have a look at this picture in Finder. So I've moved it into a folder called Game Boy Printer for now, so I can keep all my pictures together. It's a PNG file, um, 18 kilobytes in size, so really small. 
uh, as you expect let's have a look at uh, the properties on this so get info and let's have a look so we have yeah as I say under 20 kilobytes size let's have a look at the more info on you 480 by 432 resolution wow um, it's not quite HD is it but um, yeah let's have a look at the image see what it looks like okay so that's pretty cool um, the Mario is pretty nice let's make it bigger wow look at the pixels in there <laughs> um, yeah I, these these were just quick snaps so I've only taken these really quickly to uh, have a look at what they they look like um, if I adjust these colors a bit and spend a little bit more time on the camera I should be able to get some really nice uh, pixel style shots so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a play around with the camera now take some photos transfer them over and I'm gonna make a little bit of a, a montage at the end of this video to show you what they can look like but all in all that's worked pretty well cool okay so that's pretty good um, I managed to take some more photos on here getting the settings a little bit better getting the contrast and the brightness a little bit nicer so the photos come out a bit better I transferred them to the Wi-Fi printer and then onto my laptop I've also played around with the color settings on that um, two color selection that you can do uh, to get a little bit of a, a variation on it so what I'm gonna do is run a couple of images across here now as you can see okay so that was pretty cool a Game Boy camera Wi-Fi printer a uh, little bit of a project to think about in the future. I want to take some photos and do some bits and pieces with that. Uh, really brings the Game Boy camera back to life, this thing. Uh, so fair play to the Game Boy repo cards, guys. Um, yeah, £20, 20 pound I think I paid for that delivered. Really good bit of fun. Um, so thanks for watching. Comment down below any comments you've got, any suggestions or any questions you've got about this or the Game Boy camera. Um, please like this video and please subscribe to my channel. Lots more videos to come.